Hi everyone, I want to welcome you to Revival Fires TV and we have just finished our Love Revolution conference where we had Kim and Skylar Walker-Smith leading worship. It was a great privilege having them um, leading, leading the team and, and getting to work with you guys. Thank you. And just wanted to take a moment to um, have a little interview and share some of the, you know, your knowledge and your insight and, and bless people who, who might not have been able to make the conference just with this time together. So um, one of the most amazing things about when you lead worship, li listen to the CDs and just the way you've done it over this conference is the way you flow in the spontaneous. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't you just tell us a bit about your journey getting there, maybe some of the mm -hmm. obstacles in actually flowing in the spontaneous, whether it's fear or hindrances, mm -hmm. things like that. And tell us, share a bit of your journey. Yeah, uh, spontaneous worship is, um, for me, it's just allowing the overflow of my heart just to yeah. come out to Jesus. Yeah. And I'd say the first obstacle that I had to overcome yeah. was definitely fear. Okay. Um, I was definitely nervous about just jumping out there and yeah. saying what's in my heart. Yeah. And it's also very vulnerable. It's something that just takes time. But something that really helped was having a good team around me and mm -hmm. also having, um, you know, people in leadership that I could, um, that they just provided a covering, you know, for me yeah. to, to kind of step out and to try something new to and to be bold. Risk. Yeah, to take yeah. the risk. Yeah. And I could go back to them later and say, hey, what would you think about that? And how do you think that went? And just kind of get feedback back and encouragement okay. yeah. and as I did that the more risk that I took the more free I got okay. and sometimes people are saying you know how do I how do I get free in worship and how do I get free in that you know the spontaneous worship and yeah. there really is no great answer except to say you just keep doing it you just keep jumping out okay. there you just keep putting yourself out there and and I have to say that in the spontaneous worship that overflow yeah. it you you go as far and as deep as your intimacy with Jesus. Yeah. And so those alone times that you have with God are completely vital to being able to flow in that spontaneous worship. Because if you don't have that intimacy built up, yeah. it's kind of hard to let that overflow come out. Okay. 